Hi, I'm James, and in today's video we are taking a look at this, which is a Dell Inspiron 3793 laptop. And we are going to start by removing the back panel. And to do this we are going to go around and remove all of the screws from the base. Now what I like to do, uh, because there is some slight differences between the screws on this, I think these back corners, this laptop appears to have been fiddled with in the past, so some of these screws uh, are retained, um, but I don't know if all the screws are in their original positions, so you may find slightly different on this. But what I like to do, these two don't seem to lift out because they're partially threaded, the rest are fully threaded. But as I take them out, I'm going to place them off to the side in the same positions that I've removed them from, so I can put things back in the same place they came out. All the screws on this are exposed, there are non hidden. And we, like I say, just need to go around and remove everything to begin with. This one here for the optical drive is a little shorter. as is that one. And removing the final ones at the front. We then want to just gently pull on the optical drive to remove that and underneath there are two additional short but flat headed screws. So let's take those out. This is just using a Phillips uh, size double zero screwdriver bit for all of these and with that done we can then flip over the laptop. Some of these screws that were still in place may release themselves in the process. And then we need to open up the display and we're going to take our pry tool and starting at the front here we are just going to press this in between the palm rest and the base to begin releasing the base from the machine. So having done the front, we then need to work on the sides. Again, just pressing this between the join to release and then attempting to get in on the other side. Okay, and with all of those released, we can then close the laptop over again. And then just going to give these ones a quick twist to make sure they are all out properly. And then just pulling up on the base panel to remove that. And we are inside the machine. Once inside, our first job is to peel back this little piece of tape here and disconnect the battery. There are two little uh, edge pieces on this connector which we can leverage against to remove the battery connector and with that done we can then start working on the machine. So in terms of upgradable components we have our solid state drive here, we have two dim slots only one of which is occupied in this machine as standard and we have our 2.5 inch hard drive which can be replaced with another hard drive or SSD. To replace the SSD we have this little shield covering the shorter M2 2230 I believe it is drive and by removing the two screws from this 
we can then remove this shield from the drive and disconnect the SSD as so. If we wanted to install a full 2280 drive, then the drive can just be installed into there without this cover. The cover is just used to secure the original SSD. Uh, but you could fit the full length drive in there and then just screw it into place. I'm just going to properly reseat this SSD as it came out of the cover when we removed it. So to refit the original, we can just slot that back into place. And so to re so to refit the original, what we want to do is make sure this little piece of metal here is underneath that. So we are going to slide it in underneath and into the slot, and then refit the two securing screws. The standard memory in this can be removed by pulling on these two legs and slotting it out like so. We can see this is 2666 megahertz RAM and it can then simply be reinserted and pressed down or to install on this side, turn it over the other way. Again, slot in, press down until it clicks into place. If you wish to add a second memory module, you know, that can be installed in there. The hard drive is held in with four screws for the caddy. This could be replaced with a higher capacity hard drive, so long it is, as it isn't more than, I believe, seven millimeters in height, or you could fit a second SSD into here. Uh, I don't know if Dell always include the SATA mount in versions of this without a uh, hard drive as standard, but quite often they do, uh, so you may want to check, but I would expect this to be the case. With that done, we can then lift up this and disconnect the SATA cable by pulling on it. To replace the drive, it is held in with four screws, so those can be undone to lift the drive out of this caddy, and a new one can be screwed in place and secured with those. The drive can then be plugged back in and the four screws returned to position. To replace the wireless card, there is a single screw here. Undoing this, the plastic cover can be removed. The two aerial points can then be unclipped and the card lifted out. The wider uh, style of wireless card can also be fitted into here, but for now we are just going to refit this one. So we want to Clip back on the two aerial leads. Refit the plastic cover. And refit the screw. And so that covers all of our upgrade options on this laptop. And we can. And so, first of all, we want to reconnect the battery, ensuring that that is lined up, pushed into place, and the tape pressed down onto it. We then take our base panel and line it up before flicking the machine back over, opening it up and clipping the 
base into the top palm rest and then going around and refitting all the screws into the base. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you have, do hit the like button or if you want to contribute towards the running of the channel, feel free to hit the thanks button and make a contribution there. Um, do ask any questions you have in the comments and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.